The John Smith handicap hurdle is next. A 0 to 140 handicap hurdle forgotten next at the top for Martin Liam. Gem Thief, Craig Beckwith, Fort of the Future, Jim Murray, Shearing Out, Craig Beckwith, El Villa, Speedster for Vinnie Gerard, Warhorse, Joshua Sutherland, Flawless Wives, David Robertson, Russian River, Leon Van Rensburg, El Villa, Deer, or Vinnie Gerard, Van or Baru, Darren Thompson, Diamond Geezer, Graham Clutterbuck, Tootsie Rose, John Morgan, Baltic Sunrise, Graham Clutterbuck, The Joke Shop, David Robertson, Oriate Shuffler, Matt Cooper, Green Whisper, John Morgan, Maggie Risky, Derek Hinton, and Classic Approach, Derek, uh, Alex Cherry. So a field of 18. In this. Called in and away. Looking the way to the first flight. Just the organ over, okay. Eight more to take, nine flights to take in all then. And El Villa Speedster, Green Whisper, and Warhorse are the three who have gone off into the lead and it's Green Whisper who's the one who's going to take it up so they're going to be a bit of pace to this race then as they get down towards the second flight a flight that'll be the final flight on the next circuit and Green Whisper has already opened up by six or seven lengths most of them seem quite happy to give him that length of lead Billy Gerard and David Robertson are to the four, two apiece in the first five. As they get over that second flight, they can't pass the winning post shortly, and then they'll head out on a complete circuit of the track. There's a fairly long run now to the third flight. And Green Whisper is in the lead, leading by well, about four or five, it would seem now, to Joke Shop in second. El Villa Speedster is in third, and then Flawless Wise, four, Warhorse on the inside. Then the top white forgotten next is next. Then El Villard there and Baltic Sunrise with we'll Share It Out, Valinor Baloo next, and then the Grey Diamond Geezer. The second of John Morgan's horses, Tootsie Rose is next. Then Russian River and Ford of the Future with Gem Thief towards the back. And the back three are Maggie Risky, Oriet Shuffler, and Classic Approach as they continue this long run to the next flight, which is flight number four. And Green Whisper. But John Morgan in front. Skips over it nicely in the lead. They all got over that one well. Maggie Risky is now the new back marker, but Green Whisper continues to lead. On the joke shop and El Villa Speedster. Top weight forgotten next is creeping into it as they get over the fifth. Which up there by Flawless Wives have seen that one take closer order as well. Warhorse is trying to sneak up the inside as they get over the sixth. Just three more to take now and they're beginning to bunch up front as the leader gives away and El Villa Speedster and Warhorse have swept past him but he's fighting back on the inside Green Whisper. The joke shop seems to be going well but he's going to need a bit of a lucky split. Flawless Wives in a slightly better position. Forgotten next could be in trouble as well. So too could the Graham Clutterbuck horse on the inside. That's Baltic Sunrise. They've only got two more flights to take now then. And it's War Horse, El Villa, Speedster and Green Whisper who share the lead. Joke Shop is next. Then El Villa there. And Forgotten next. Baltic Sunrise is next. He's still holding on to Flawless Wives. And... Tootsie Rose is trying to get into it, sweeping around the outside. Fort of the Future is looking a big danger. Russian River is coming with that one as they race down towards the final two flights then. And El Villa speeds has hit the front, lands in the lead, gets away from it well. Stable mate El Villa there is now starting to run on as well. Green Whispers trying to battle back. Baltic Sunrise has finally got some racing room. Then over the final flight, but it's El Villa speeds who's gone clear. Baltic Sunrise is trying to close, so he's stable mate El Villa there. And I don't think they're going to get to this El Villa speed. So it's going to be another one two for Vinnie Gero, but El Villardier is beginning to get up closest to us and El Villardier is going to steal it from his stable mate. El Villardier wins it. El Villa speeds to a second then. After that one was Warhorse. Fall to the future finished well. Maggie Whiskey was never really involved. And once again those mid-season entrants cleaning up in the handicap. That's El Villardier and El Villa speeds to making another one two for Vinnie Gerard off lightweights. Warhorse or Joshua Sutherland was third. Four to the future for Jim Murray, fourth. And Valinor Baru for Darren Thompson was fifth.